Welcome to Watch Guard's Daily Security Bite. I'm Corey Naka, and your today's story is about a recent WhatsApp malicious spam campaign. In the news today, there's a number of stories uh, warning people that there were some fake emails spreading that seemed to come from WhatsApp, but actually contained malware. Now, these stories were based on a recent blog post by Komodo Security, who found this WhatsApp spam. If you receive it, it might seem to come from the WhatsApp application in the From field, but if you look at the actual email address, it won't be the WhatsApp domain. Now the subject line will talk about the fact that you missed a, a WhatsApp audio notification or some sort of message and it will try to convince you to open a zip file to get that message. Now of course if you open that zip file and run the contained executable you're going to get infected with malware. Now this is actually an example of the fact that old dogs sometimes get success from old tricks. Despite all the news today this is a very common tactic. We've actually seen the same type of WhatsApp spam way back in 2013. That said, this is actually a good social engineering technique. There's a lot of applications out there, whether they be social network applications, or in this case, WhatsApp is a cross-platform internet-based messaging or SMS application. But in any case, there's a lot of valid applications out there that will sometimes send you email notifications. For instance, depending on how you say set up Facebook, you might sometimes get notifications when someone tags you in a message. Or maybe Twitter might tell you when someone's a, a retweet tweeted one of your tweets. So as users, we're sometimes kind of programmed to expect emails from certain applications, which might make us more apt to interact with them. That said, everything else about this email should be a pretty dead giveaway that this is not good content. This is actually a pretty easy spam campaign to identify. First of all, if you actually pay attention to the email address, it's obviously not WhatsApp. And despite the fact that the subject does try to pretend to be the type of notification you might get, it always has some weird characters at the end, which should be a giveaway. And the contents in the message itself aren't that convincing. And finally, you really won't often get zip attachments that you have to open and interact with from these kind of applications. So you should be well aware that you shouldn't interact with this type of email. Now, the actual Trojan or, or malware that this does deliver is pretty well known. So if you have any gateway antivirus or any services like WatchGuard's APT blocker, it should be pretty easy to uh, actually detect. But if you're a WhatsApp user and you actually see some weird emails, you should probably avoid them. Anyways, that's it for today's story. Thank you for watching.